Today, we're going to be taking a look at React Router version 6. There are a lot of differences between React Router version 5 and version 6, mainly that version 6 has taken advantage of React hooks, and they also allow you to declare your roots in a way where you can pass down component inheritance if you want to pass things down like layouts or elements from pages in a hierarchy. By simplifying the code with React hooks and getting rid of things like with router root component props or the need to declare them, that is, anyways, it makes it much simpler to declare your routes and access them. I'm going to be taking a base React project that you can see here I've created with the Create React app using a TypeScript template, and I'm going to implement some simple examples showing you how to use the hooks and using a route hierarchy for inheritance. Once you've created your base project, go ahead and run an npm install React Router DOM. React Router 6 comes with its own type definitions, so you don't have to install any types in your dev dependencies. Now that we have everything we need, go ahead and open Visual Studio Code in the folder. I'm on Windows 11. I can simply type code-n with a period saying I want to open this folder. The first thing I like to do is get rid of all of the files except for the index that I don't need. And then I can start declaring some files. First, I'm going to create a .vs code folder, and I'm going to copy in some settings into the settings.json file. You don't have to do this, but I like to do this to keep my auto formatting in sync so that anytime I save the page, it automatically formats for me. I'm going to add a prettier RC file as well. Again, you don't have to do this, but it just makes the formatting that much better. You can copy these files straight from my GitHub repository. Next, let's create an application.tsx file. And then go ahead and declare a function component. You can see here that I have an FC command here that automatically fills it out for me. If you don't have this, you can type this out manually, but I highly re recommend taking a look at how to create React snippets or download some to make this process go much faster. Inside of our application, we're gonna return a browser router from React Router DOM. Inside of the browser router, we're gonna return some routes. And you can see when I save it, that Visual Studio Code Prettier automatically formats it for me. It's great. Now, before we declare any routes on the inside, we're going to want to create some pages. Go ahead and go to your source folder and create a new folder called Pages. Inside of it, we're going to create a file called home.tsx, <laughs> not homes. Let me just rename that. And I'm going to create another function component, and I'm going to call this my home page. Inside of the div, I'm just going to put a little paragraph that says, this is the home page. That's all I need for now. Next, I'm going to create another page, an about page, and I'm going to do the exact same thing and just say that this is the about page. Now that I've done this, I can go back to my application.tsx file and inside of my routes, I can declare some basic routes with React Router 6. To declare a route, you don't need anything special as now there is an element property that takes care of the rendering for you. So go ahead and declare a route with a path of just a forward slash, which means that this is home. And inside of the element, simply pass in the home page, but declare it like a JSX element. Go ahead and do the same thing with a path of about and the about page. This is all you need to get started with React Router. This is a very basic example. So let's go ahead and run an NPM start and see what happens. And you can see it didn't load here, and that's because I didn't import my application properly. Let me just fix that. Don't forget to remove that index CSS and save it and now go back to the page. And you can see here it says that this is the home page. And when I go to the about page, you can see that it says this is the about page. So everything is working properly. The routing is working just fine. So over in the about.tsx, let's go ahead and Take a look at how to use parameters. So this is if you want to type something into the URL and you want to get a variable out of it. So not search parameters that come after a question mark, but actual parameters that come after a forward slash. So how we're going to do this is we're going to use a hook called use params and very easily get a parameter out of it. So I'm going to pass in a number into my URL after an about forward slash, and I'm going to display that in my about page if it exists. So inside of the about page, go ahead and make a new state variable called message with its setter function and make this a default use state with an empty string. Next, I'm going to declare const with an empty bracket and call use params. 
And inside of this, I can just go ahead and directly pass in the parameters I'm looking for. So I'm going to pass in my number and then I'm going to create a use effect and I'm going to see if this number exists. So inside of the use effect, go ahead and check to see if the number is there. If it is, you can set your message to say something like the number is and then insert it into the string, or you can say whatever you want here. It doesn't necessarily have to be a number. If there isn't a number, go ahead and set the message to say that there was no number provided. Inside of your JSX, go ahead and after the this is about page, put your new message inside of a paragraph. Now go back to the application and let's take a look at one of the ways you can declare a hierarchy of routes. So you can see here the about page doesn't have that number inside of it yet. What we're going to do is create a section for the about page. So I'm going to get rid of this element and close off after the path about and start inserting children into this route. First, I'm going to declare a route with an index prop and that element is going to be the about page, which means that if you just call forward slash about, this is what it's going to render. The next route I'm going to declare is actually going to have the path and that path is just going to be a colon number because I want to look for the number variable after the about. So let's take a look at how that looks inside of our address bar in Firefox. You can see here that when I go to the about page, it works just fine as no number was provided. So after the about, if I put a forward slash and something in now, it'll read as that number variable. So let me go ahead and do that. You can see when I have 67 in here, it says the number is 67. So it's reading that number parameter properly. So this is how you declare multiple paths for the same page. It's very, very easy. That being said, with the number parameter, you don't necessarily have to render the about page because each element inside of the about route has its own JSX element declared. Now there's another case we're gonna look at and that's actually taking a layout and then allowing you to declare things inside of that layout. So if you take a look at where it says route and the path is about, if I declared an element there, that element would be rendered no matter what was inside the children of this route element. Even if I had something else in the element section where it says index or my path is a number, it's still gonna declare that about page. If you want to create a layout, for example, having like a nav bar and a side menu and then whatever else you wanna render, be what renders with React Router, you can actually do that, but you have to declare something extra. So let's go ahead and create a layout and I'll show you this example. Create a new folder called components and inside of it, just create a layout.tsx. I'm gonna just take the div that I create with my function component and I'm going to just have some styling on it so you can see it being rendered no matter what else renders inside of that routes children. So I'm gonna add a border. I'm gonna make the style dashed. I'm gonna play around with the height and the width. You can do whatever you want here, but I'm just doing this so you can see it actually rendered and you can spot it and it's not hidden. Once you figure out how you want all your styling to go inside this div, the thing that you're gonna need for React Router to recognize that you want this to render and you want everything that gets passed into the route's children to render inside of it, you have to pass in what's called the outlet which you import from React Router DOM. This is like passing in props.children, but a special one for React Router. So if you go back to the application, let's go ahead and declare this layout like we declared that path about. So make a new route, set the element to the layout. Now that your element is the layout component, what we can do is we can just copy and paste the two about pages and chuck them in here because you're gonna see what it looks like when you apply a layout to it. Lastly, because there is no actual main path for this yet, add a path called layout to where you have your layout component element. Once you do that, save it and go back to Firefox. So now when we type layout at the top, we should see the same about pages rendered in the same way, but with that fancy div we just made. And just like that, you can see that the about page is being rendered, but this time inside of a layout. So you can imagine this layout being your nav bar, your sidebar, things that we mentioned before but in a layout, in a hierarchy, in React Router. Nice and simple. Now that you grasp all the routing, let's go ahead and take a look at one more hook, and that's the navigation. So we're going to look at the different ways that you can use navigation here. 
Classically, you can use a link like we're building right now on our homepage. You can just put something like link to forward slash about and just put some text here. And this works like a normal hyperlink, but within the confines of React Router. But since React Router 6 has taken advantage of hooks, let's go ahead and create a button. And with the on click, use the navigate hook. So declare const navigate and make that equal to use navigate. Now inside of the buttons on click, you can go ahead and just call navigate and then go to the page you want. For us, we can do something like forward slash layout and then pass in a number afterwards. Go ahead and save that and go back to your page. Go ahead and click the links and you'll see that they are working properly. So there are other hooks available to you here. If I just type in use inside the import, you can see a whole bunch that pop up. I just covered two of them today, but go ahead and read the documentation to see which one of these would suit your needs. That being said, these are some very basic examples of how to use React Router 6. Nothing crazy here. I just wanted to get you guys started. Thanks so much for tuning back in. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe or buy me a coffee if you're feeling real generous. Have a good one, guys.